wear something if you're wear gonna a raincoat. You know? Yeah, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do it, wear, wear, wear something. Wear a raincoat. And I was like, well, okay, yeah, I, 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 I guess that was my birds and the bees talk. <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. So I'm blessed to have uh, an amazing wife, but it wasn't always the case. Growing up, I had my relationship struggles, let's say, but that's one of the things my dad and I uh, bonded on, uh, was talking about, about girls. So we figured Pops would pick some of his uh, relationship knowledge today. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna start with one story. You'll remember, this makes me laugh now, but I didn't find it funny back in the day. When I was about 15, I actually had like an 18 year old, 19 year old girlfriend. Remember that? Yeah. Believe it or not, I was so sprung and so um, enamored that it was the first time ever that I started uh, not focusing on priorities or, or, or school for that matter. I even started ditching and taking out off of wrestling practice to go see her because you know, I was just getting my license, 16. So it got so bad that my parents were starting to discourage me to not be with her, but it was the first time ever my dad actually broke up with her for me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want. I didn't even want to break up. I was still whooped. But remember, you yeah. get to the phone yeah, and you kind of well, you broke up with her for me. That yeah. was cold blooded at the time. I was mad. That was the first time I was really mad. You well, remember that? Yeah. Well, yeah. You've always uh, you always told me, hey, um, you know what, Dad? I want to make the right thing. You know, I want to. And I said, well, you know, just do it. And yeah. you weren't focusing on on your your uh, educate on school school activity or whatever, you know, and all that stuff. And then you had a job already over here that you remember. I used to have to bring you on the weekends. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And anyway, so she was much older than you too, you know. Like that means, and girls mature a little old faster than guys, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, and. And I told him, look, where you messed up is, uh, you know, he, he was like in love in a way, <laughs> the way I see it. I told him, I had told him since he was young and his mom never agreed with me. You know, you date a girl and if you feel like you're gonna feel something for her or, you know, what did I tell you? Just let it go because it's gonna get worse. Huh? <laughs> well, I did. I mean, you know, and my mom get all pissed off at me. He, he, I mean, his mom get all pissed off yeah. at me because uh, I'm sure he's, He's never gonna settle down, or he's never gonna take nothing serious. Or nothing. No, no I said because that's the way I was, you know. <laughs> it was easy for me because I mean, you know, I already been there, done that, and all that stuff, and I just told her in a nice way, you know. Well, I didn't mention the age or nothing, but it, that he, she was gonna interfere in his career or whatever, you know. And I mean, he wasn't ready for this. He doesn't realize it yet, but later on he'll thank me, you know. So I hope you understand, you know, and stuff like that, and. And she goes, what do you mean? You know, came off the wall with some stuff. I said, no, 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 just think about it. What I just told you, that's it. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then I remember him saying, just don't call over here anymore. <laughs> that's right. So he, he yeah. straight up broke up with his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, and that was it. He was, was he was like, a, hey, you know, I want to do the right thing. And it, what is the right thing, you know? I mean, at his age, you know, yeah. when, she, when he's 15. Now 15. looking back, he did me a favor because mm. who knows? Mm -hmm. I could have been a dad real young and... Oh yeah. Oh God. And a lot could happen. And, and um, yeah, I was just kind of blinded by that. So now looking back, I laugh and, and, and <laughs> it was funny, but man, at the time I thought it was just devastating and yeah, my, I felt, my but, world was going to end. That yeah, was that. that was, but yeah. my mom, she, her and my sister were very selective and very, they didn't hide it. If they didn't like the girl I was seeing, then they would make it well known. Whereas my dad liked all of them. <laughs> there was not one girl I brought that he did not like. Remember when I told you about uh, your wife now? <laughs> yes. I, told you, I told you to marry this one. Remember I told you that? You told yeah. me that, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, right off the bat, I liked Masa, you know? She, I thought she, they make a good couple and I thought she was, uh, she was just right. She was just like perfect. <laughs> He's got good instincts. I remember something you uh, told me too, um, that uh, something along the lines like, you never want to give your woman all your, Oh, yeah. Time and attention or all your money. Well, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> you never give her all your love or all your money because then they, they you know, they clan her and then it's kind of hard to get them down. So it's a, in Spanish, it's all different. A una mujer nunca se le da todo su amor ni todo su dinero. Porque ya que se les encarama el chango, está cabrón para bajarlas. Solid words of advice right there. I remember my dad saying too, once she starts like looking through your phone or looking through your stuff, that's it. Trust is not there. Mm -hmm. Not not um, 
to even entertain going forward. Because I remember you said my mom, we've been married 30 some years mm -hmm. at that point, mm -hmm. uh, has never gone through my phone, never gone through my stuff. If mm. I ever saw it, that would have been it back in the day. I had always used to change my names, but goodness, when oh, you yeah. have more than one so or two my girls. Dad, so my dad would give girls different names. I couldn't get away with that. No. But he got pinched. And when he was dating my mom, he gave my mom the name Richard. <laughs> so she thought that his name was Richard Lopez. Yeah. Because we were dating a couple of other girls. Oh, yeah. Dated, right? yeah but so to this the... day, 40 some odd years yeah. later, Swear, she still calls him Richard. Yeah. Right? What made it serious is that, um, you know, I had already in my mind that I was going to marry her. She was going to be the mother of my kids because of, I couldn't find nothing wrong with her and all that stuff. You know, because I let that one get to me and then I started feeling, you know, you miss them. You know, you know, I don't know if you know, like when you fall in love, I think you only fall in love one time. <laughs> I used to think I fell in love. Like no, this guy fell in love every weekend. <laughs> so you can't do that, you know? That was the problem. So you know, too much love. <laughs> When you got Looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> no, I was not found it. It's no, too I much know. To give. So that's some of uh, the advice uh, Pops gave me growing up on women. Um, tell us uh, in the comment section, please, what some of your dating advice is. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.